Hey everyone, okay, so we've got the Smartor thickness gauge and you may have looked at our grid mapping video a little earlier. What we're gonna to do today is take you through B-Scan and you can do it in two ways on this device. You can do it via a, a time-based B-Scan or an encoder-based B-Scan where you're going to take multiple measurements within millimeters or less than millimeters of each other and start stacking it up in a nice little histogram. So you might be looking for remaining wall thickness of your material, or you might just be doing thickness testing where you're expecting some changes in the, in the wall thickness rather than corrosion. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so what we've got here is the PS2 in wheel encoder, a P5 megahertz 10 mil probe, it's a single crystal. We've just got it set up and calibrated in their thickness gauge mode. And we have a step wedge here. There's 109876 54321. But we're only just going to cover this first, um, first 100 mil. Okay, so we've, we've set up the unit uh, to do a distance of 100 millimeters with a starting position at 0.0. .0. We've got a basic standard, just the standard um, uh, mode, echo mode, rather than echo to echo with um, two gates. We're just running one gate. So what we're... Okay, so, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run this encoder. We're going to start the scan and then we're going to run it down the step block and watch it go over the first couple of thicknesses from 10 down a few steps so we can see what it looks like on the screen. So we're now we're ready to go. All right, cool. So we've made, we've started, um, I've created a deliberate error where it says green. This is past. This is where the, the A scan has actually gone through the gate and it has, it's confident, um, of the reading. Where you can see it in blue, it's where the echo didn't actually reach the threshold of the gate. So we would essentially go backwards, make sure the encoder is down and go backwards and verify the data. Okay, here we've got the same probe, the same encoder, but we're in the ultrasonic floor detector mode. Now, so we've got this DAC boat block with four side drill holes, a 38 mil block, and there's four uh, side drill holes um, in different depths um, on an incline. So let's just put the encoder on uh, and we'll just run it as smoothly as we can. One, two, three, four, and it's near the surface. So, but if we went uh, reverse this, we can fix up a couple of line information there, uh, fix up a little bit of the re resolution on the indications and just get a little bit more. Make sure we've got that. One last time. Cool, there it is, the four side drill holes, one, two, three, four, nicely. So we can hit the save button, it's gonna process it, put it in the save file, and we can export that into a report. That's the side drill holes there, and this is what it looks here. Come. Cool. 